me. Time to leave the sealed road behind for the forest and the trek. There's no signpost here, so I'm assuming. But sooner or later, my first cheese are. Siki Butze. Just zoom and see if you can pick it out. Looks like three characters carved out of this rock. Small one underneath. Search, there is another track. Let's have a look to see what other carvings I may happen across here. Oh, here we go. Ah, splinters. Ah, oh, here we go. Definitely not be going in there for very obvious reasons. Gee, look at that rock at the back. Tell you what, she wouldn't take much of a an earthquake to rattle that loose. My lunch spot. You agree? In three hours, 12 o'clock, so time for that break. A bit of nice wee break for 20 minutes, bite to eat. Time to move on or Part two of my Sufigasaguchi to Iga hike. My original plan from here was to take a trek through here. According to my research, there is a trek that loops around Tarawa town. But uh, uh, I've had a look, and there's nothing. There's a little hint of a track, but there's nothing to mark or say that that was a track. So I've decided to err on the side of caution and I'm going to make my way back around to the village and walk through that and connect up. It's a risk when you do that. <clears throat> no one knows exactly where I am. If something happened to me, I could lie here for weeks. No one would know I was here. I'll say goodbye to my friends.
on the outskirts of Taroa. There's this lovely collection of Tsukibutsu, stone carvings of Buddha. Closely you'll be able to see the two characters in there. this very impressive collection here. Hopefully when it comes to posting this video, I'll be able to put a name to these. One theory is the reason placed in this location is protect the village from any evil spirits. Needless to say people would come and pray. Very impressive. This one in the middle reminds me of the smiling mermaid at Jururiji, just at the back of Carmel. Maybe the same artist.